Welcome back everybody to My Time at Sandrock. This is episode 55 with Adeline. We are getting stuff done. What are we doing? We are grabbing this. Making sure it's got fuel. Making sure it's queued up okay. We'll get off. Nope, that's all good. Grab this. Oh no, talk to Fang. Oh dear. I know, Fang's caught on. We're all in trouble now. Um. Oh dear. Have you seen X? Why are you asking me? I know you. Do you know anything? X. Taken. By who? I'll be I'm here. Not possible shopkeep a good man someone else x can fly away must be someone he knows oh thank Im impossible no 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 how how could they find us if it's them what do I do have have they found us? You need my help? X, we're coming. All right, let's go find the kidnapped X. little bird your tears only serve as seasoning for the delectable dish you're about to be hey! what the your knights in shining armor well get ready to say nighty night knights who sent you Yaffah. as if someone could ever hope to control the great uh bird nepicus i must taste all the birds of this world and I'll destroy anyone who stands in my way. Let's stand! Do not try to use your dashing looks and tantalizing words to weasel out of this. If you want your feathered friend back, then you'll have to resort to old-fashioned fisticuffs. Fisticuffs? I'm gonna use my sword, S mate. Stop! No fighting. Devil is dervish! How are you so potently powerful? Ha! Huh. How admirable! Wow, well, you'll not get away with this! I'll be back! Help! Help! <laughs> free! Free at last! Oh no. Thank you. What you talking about, bird? That's all? Come on, be nice. Hmm? Sometimes a thank you just isn't enough. It's who are you imitating? Then come eat with us tonight. Bring a friend. Where's the villain? Let me at him. Curses! How could someone abduct our adorable ex? Oh no. If I find the treacherous fiend who took him, I promise I will slay him by this hand. For as my father once cried, by thee who take my mortal bird, to the skies I must fly to avenge. 
Oh. Huh? You. Just now, your injury. Same as the bird napper. Explain. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you tell the truth. <laughs> They're all so bad. This was your idea. Fang, now you know. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Fang, I knew you were perceptive, but how did you know it was me already? Uh, I don't suppose you've also surmised why I wanted to pull such a scheme? Friends! Kiss and make up? Kiss, kiss. It's okay. I won't forgive, shysters. Fang, please, let me explain. I never wanted to cause you worry or scare you. I simply wanted to be your friend. But if you're angry, I understand. We are sorry. We are sorry. That's all, folks. X. You. Two. X friend, Coca. Fang, no friend. X. Go home. Now. Yeah. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey, I'm enough! Wait, please, let us explain! This... Don't worry. He's caught to this point with me a few times, and he's up. <laughs> Usually, fine the next day, but... Wow, no. He was really, really upset this time. Uh, yeah. Let's give him some Yes, space. yes. I think that's the best thing we can do. Let's give him some time to cool oh, down. No. We can apologize when he's in a better mood. Okay, no I'll also admit things. my plan was pretty crazy. Do you think... Do you think Fang will ever forgive us? I... I think I'll have to apologize. Perhaps a gift. In any case, thanks for your support. I hope, in the end, we are able to make a difference. Stay in touch. It's such a beautiful backdrop, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we uh, we now need to go give Fang some time because we did something real stupid. I'm just going to gather some potatoes and tomatoes to make myself feel better. And then knowing that there's a tomato soup thing on the board, I'm just going to catch this, some, uh, some budgie eggs. Because egg gathering in sand rock is dangerous. Those things shoot rockets, man. Egg sources that shoot rockets. We're in trouble. I know, right? I'm collecting eggs. This is this. This is what you've got me doing. Collecting eggs, man. All right, let's collect some meat to go with our eggs, because you know, bacon, eggs, angry yakma. Oh my gosh. Oh, we need hand honey too, don't we, for our lavender concoctions. I know, yes, I'm stressed about upsetting Fang. How can you tell? Because, you know, everything in range ties. And we need the Yakmel hair for our, um... So we've now sourced ourselves some protein. Um, I know, I'm going to try and get in the habit of getting this 
this bit of scrap every day. Although now I'm quite happy to send the um, seriously. I know, right? I think it's probably time I went home. Um, if we've got space on our on our thing, we need some hardwood boards. Let's grab that. All right, we've got enough of these. I'm just going to grab the hardwood planks. Okay, I've got I've got hardwood planks. How many do I need? I didn't say. I think it was about. Oh, no, I did ten. And we also need hardwood sticks. Let's see how we go about those. Yep, I've got ten of those as well. Okay, so it's bronze frames, rubber rolls. Oh, I need some more hardwood sticks. Let's just zoop that much up. There we go. Uh, and over here, we're going to need some more hardwood planks. Yeah, we'll do hardwood planks. Right, that's that's for that. I need to also grab some um, some of these frames, frames, frames. And for that, I might need some more bronze bits. Okay, so I need some bronze rivets. I need three. Let me just max out my rivets. All right. Okay. Thing is really mad at me. Let's uh, let's read the mail. Adeline, here's the stuff you commissioned right on time. See for yourself. Thanks. All right. So what I need to do is I just need to check my commissions. We have. Hey, I'm waiting for the trees to mature. Giving Fang some time. We're going to go and complete this order. Let's let's go and get these orders out of the way, and then we'll. What is that yellow? It has not been five days. Hey, Coco. Um. Ooh, cool. Oh yeah, you're a happy budgie now. I got you that swing. You and you and um, X can play. But uh, I'm a little bit worried about. My bag is full again. Didn't I empty it? I did not empty it, did I? No, I did not. It's Sunday. Howdy. Yes, yes. I buy as well as sell, but nothing common, please. I'm afraid I must turn my nose up at common items. I don't mean any disrespect, it's just my thing. Oh. See ya. Okay, so if I want to sell, what would he be interested in? Engines, discs. Okay, so he's he likes that kind of thing. But what I wanted to get here... Alright, so my inventory is full. Fine. Let's go fix the inventory. I know, right? What I should have done before I left was sort everything into the boxes. Okay.
My Sandrock commission mission is updated. Did I fail something? <laughs> Look behind you. All right. Hi. Howdy. Got your commission. So long, partner. No, no. Hello. Got your other commission. All right, catch you next time. Okay, let's just have a look and see what happened to my commission update. Two, okay. Oh, something's going on at the Civil Corps. Radio. Let's go check that out. Unbelievable, these guys. I know, I'm looking at that rubbish going, whoa. Uh, right, we'll go and check out the Civil Corps Commission in a minute. We're going to go check out this meeting at Katori's Game Center now. I'm so glad they have those reminders up because otherwise I've missed them. Katori, why aren't you at your meeting? I feel better now. If I stay with you, will I still be late? Welcome everyone. It seems we're all here, so let's begin. First of all, welcome. You may all know me as Katori, the lady who purchased up the Golden Goose just after the peak of its success. <laughs> but today, with just 15 minutes of your time, I will present to you an idea that could change your life. Behold! Katori World! A vast an unabridged cavalcade of merriment and amusement, an unparalleled brand of entertainment. As we all know, Sandrock was once a beacon of prosperity in the ocean of a desert that is the Ufala. Of course, at that time, we were in the rather favorable position of middlemen, so to speak. Tens of thousands of people would transfer through Sandrock, and the Golden Goose was a favorite stop along the way for young and old. These days, however, well, I don't think it would be an understatement to say that this town could do with some revitalization. And so, enter Katori World to chase the clouds away and bring prosperity to Sandrock once more. How will I do it, you might ask? I will carry out the construction of a multi-dimensional, sensational, and all-around recreational set of entertainment facilities including, but not limited to, a new and improved game center, larger museum, and one day, a theme park! Uh -huh. Before long, tourists will once again flock to Sandrock to view and partake of the exuberance that is the largest and most beautiful spot for entertainment in the free cities, Katori World! Help make my dream, our dream, come true! <laughs> Help make Katori World a reality! Any questions? What do I need Both to Both you and Nian can invest through labor, provide construction services for my amusement and other facilities for the park, then I grant you a larger percentage of the profits. Builder work is essential to make this all happen. Uh, could I uh, lose money? Well, technically, yes. It is possible you could lose money, in the sense that anything is technically possible. <laughs> so there may exist a universe where you did lose money, but Katori World! <laughs> Tell you guys what. If the first round of monthly dividends are not to your liking, if you're still not confident in the project, you can have all your money back. Guaranteed! Uh-huh. All right. What can I get from I this? I will send a seasonal report to all partners and attach the profit dividend of the season. 
The more work you do, the more goals you get. Everything will be quite fair, real equitable-like. Even Steven. Uh-huh. Sandrock is falling apart. Should we uh, build up our town yes, first? Yes, Sandrock has its fair share of issues. The water thing, the bandit Anything. thing, the other things. But look, when I first got here, I was taken in by the scenery. I was captivated. We just need to get people out here and they'll feel the same way. I guess it's possible. Yeah, of course it's possible. And yeah, you're right to have doubts. Nothing's ever a sure thing. <laughs> Wonderful! That is great to hear. With such an esteemed builder backing the project, I think it's hard not to have faith. Questions? Anyone else? Hmm. Wow. It all does sound like a lot of fun, but... Well, I've been spending all my spare time at the moisture farm since we made that big discovery. I don't know if I can commit to something so big. But don't worry, you've already got the best. Uh, of course, of course. Can't have a foot in two boats. I wish you well on your endeavors. Uh, what about you, Mr. Owen? Thoughts? Questions? Concerns? Hmm, this plan. It's a pie in the sky, but as long as it might help Sandrock, I'm interested. And we'll be happy to get involved with the startup process. Uh, we can talk more once we really start seeing more tourists in town. <coughs> Mr. Owen, thank you very much. I can't say that I'm particularly impressed by your key performance indicators. Furthermore, I don't think there's much room for your market to scale up, given the potential demographics you have access to. For that reason, I'm out. Well, this ain't exactly rocket science, good doctor. <coughs> Director. Yes, Director. Well, there's also no reason we couldn't work in some kind of spaceship simulator? A replica of a launch center. Some other space... thingy? It appears I've sorely miscalculated the potential of this venture. You will have my aid. Wonderful of you to reconsider, Director. Now, forgive me, as I have not been paying much attention for the last 15 minutes or so. Mind was elsewhere. But I do believe I have the gist of it. And for that reason, I'm in. Elsie will appreciate this sort of rigmarole. Speaking of rigmarole, that reminds me how she needs to stop all the tomfoolery, sending in for rigmarole, and start learning how to be a proper lady. Y'all wouldn't believe how many times I've told her. Uh, yes, yes, Cooper. Thank you for your interest. Perhaps we'd best move on, for time's sake. Are you having fun, Jasmine? Kinda surprised you wanted me to take you to this, but, uh, well, do you understand everything Miss Katori is saying? Of course, Uncle Hugo. I've read all about stuff like this. Katori is asking for angel investors, people who are willing to back her idea in exchange for a piece of the company. If Aunt Katori does really well, we might get back ten times what we invest. Here, I brought five goals. I want to invest in Katori World. Ten to one, huh? Maybe I'll throw in some scratch too then. Yes, well, it's like they say. One can always depend on the heart of a child to make sound business decisions. It means so much to have everyone's support. And this is definitely a more the merrier type situation. Well, I think we've heard from everyone. Here seems like as good a place as any to end it. Thank you all for coming. Here's to our success! Here's to Katori World! Builder, once again, thank you for your support. Hey, as a matter of fact, I've got something for you already. Game Center Renovations! A new sign, a new game, more floor space, the whole nine yards. The expansion will just be gathering materials, but you know how it is. Heidi doesn't cut corners. She'll need stuff only experienced divers like you can track down. Once we've got the materials, she'll handle the rest. Leaving the sign and new game machine. The new sign shouldn't be too much trouble, but this new game machine I got the diagram for, I'm no expert, but it looks like it's got some bells and whistles on it. But hey, nothing you can't handle, eh?
That's, That's what I like to hear. It's like Musa says in his 12 steps to success. You can only win if you believe you can win. All right, <laughs> here are the diagrams. My hopes are that by expediting phase one, we'll garner some attention that'll lead to some profit for all of us right away. Once things take off, I can pay you double for this job. Uh-huh. Er, probably. <laughs> you can try. When you've got the materials, give them to me. I'll get Heidi to handle the expansion. When she's done, just install the sign and the machine. Then we'll talk reopening ceremony. Thanks again for believing in me, Builder. I won't let you down. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. I know, she's like, what have I got myself? What did you get me in for, in for Drabo? Alright, so I'm gonna need some you know what we've we've I'm glad I put more of that on. Okay. Now I believe there is something going on at the um at the Civil Corps office. Let's go check that out. Let's go say hi to Crystal. She looks lonely. Hello! Me and Rocky are real close with all the people who work for us. When I had a little pebbles, they all really came through for us. Babysitting and whatnot. They're like a committee of godparents or something. Catch you later. No worries. She's um she's not lonely, she's just fine. And again. Howdy. Have you been to Shonis Canyon yet? It's one of the best sites around Sandra. Just uh, be careful near the edge. That first real step can be a doozy. Catch you later. How to heat the pan, mix in cream with salt, add the eggs, fry for three minutes and 30 seconds. I'm doing everything straight out of the book. Why are my omelets so disliked? <laughs> so long, partner. It's, uh, it's what you're adding instead of salt, I think. <laughs> Alright. Hello! Hello! So long, partner. No, 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 no so long about it, mister. You are gonna give me... That'll do. Some of that. And some of that. Ooh, what's this? Defense 12, defense 10, defense 7. These are pretty, aren't they? I think what I'm wearing is like got defense of 19 on it. Yeah. Wow, these are really cute. That looks pretty good too. I know, I'm really tempted by that. Can I put books on this? Oh, Alright, so if maybe if I buy this, right? And then maybe if I buy this. What's this? Sure. Alright, let's stop there. Um, and what we might do is we might see if I can actually put things in those items because I'd love a place to put my books. Thanks Where? for coming. No worries. Hey. hey. Well, we're going to get this started. You've been such a big help for us at the Civil Corps oh, since you've right. been here. Every major incident in Sand Rock, you're there, ready to put your life on the line to protect everyone. Uh-huh. Your point? That's the kind of character we aspire to be. That's the kind of folk the Civil Corps was founded by. And that's the type of individual Sam Rock needs. Okay. What I'm saying is, it will be a pleasure to have you join us. So, after talking it over with Unsure and Cap, and getting the paperwork with City Hall in order, I, as the Sheriff of Sand Rock, hereby officially recognize you as an honorary member of the Sand Rock Civil Corps. Yes, it's an honor. The honor is all ours. Let's do our best to protect Sand Rock. Okay. We've prepared something for you. 
Uh -oh. Here. I reckon you're gonna look pretty fly in the uniform. Congratulations. From now on, <laughs> you have all the powers granted to a core member. You'll be able to access our bounty board in the Civil Corps office to take on any monsters or bandits that are troubling Sandrock. Maybe I don't say this enough, but you've been invaluable here. We'd be up a creek without you. But, uh, the creek's got water, ain't it? Huh. Regardless, I'm happy to call you our partner. Need to be a civil core member? Seriously? Alright, so what does this do now? Oh, wait. I can take three bounties. <laughs> I would literally pay to see someone beat up a Movatron 9000. Obviously, I could do it myself, but I've seen myself do it so many times it's not even fun anymore. Come on, show me. Really? Two days after accepting. Okay. I don't know what I just did that for. Okay, we, we've got this. I feel like I've grabbed a tiger by the tail. Okay. So, let's, um, now why did I, I had to go out this way, right? Oh, man. Hey Elsie, I think she's on her way to see the meerkats. But I still have not managed to, yeah, I, I know, hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. Okay, we're giving Fang some time, so why don't we, and we're waiting for the, that's a waiting, that's a waiting thing, that's a waiting thing. Let's track this one. What if I track a Movatron 9000, right? So, one day, 23 hours, one day, 23 hours, one day, right. I'm pretty sure that's in the other ruin, isn't it? Well, let's see what happens when we track it. Will it show us where the monsters are? Yeah, I think. No, it doesn't. All right, and I, and I can't remember where they are, so it's that. Oh, that's the mysterious man. Oh, yeah, mysterious man. Man, I forgot. One of the reasons we wanted to come back here was so we could put down our ill-gotten goodies. So, I know, I need a bigger house now. Right, bookcase. So, basically... Okay. Basically, I wanted to put down these three things so that I could get them out of my backpack. And I wanted to pick that up and put it in my... Okay, so it's not going to let me do that, maybe. Hang on, let's go seven. I know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I was hoping to be able to put the other bed in my backpack so I could get it out of the way. Alright, and then I want to try rotating it, so... Q. Yeah, like that. Right, then I want to pick this up. T. Okay. Then I want to pick that up. 
I don't want to put it where I wanted to have it in the first place. And we're gonna Q to rotate it. Aha! Uh -huh. Actually, can I move it further? No. So it's definitely gonna be stuck. Okay. And I can sleep in it. Okay. So then what I want to do is get my... Alright, let's see how this goes. So it's little. So it should be able to fit over here. And if I Q... And I could put things in it. So I could, I could literally... I could put some books in that if I hadn't already put other stuff in it. And this is little so it can go here. It's not big enough, but hey, that's a good start, right? It's, it's not a good model. It's like I said, only access, so we're good. All right, we'll just live with whatever that comes out as. Okay, so now I've got some stuff out of my backpack. We're going to go into our journal, and we're going to see if we can find out where the Movatron thingy wants it is. So, monsters, aggressive. Yeah, there it is. Found in the Breach Hazardous Ruins. All right. We know where to find that one. See, so you don't have to remember where it is. And your Starby is found in... Okay. So the Starby is not on here. Uh, but I think they'll be updating the journal. So I think your Starby is found in the Ship Ruins. And the other thing was a lizard. So the lizards will be on the move. All right. Wow. It's really the only way to deal with this is maybe go to here. Boxing machine. Okay, a boxing machine. Okay, so a copper plate, plastic pipe. Alright, so copper plate and plastic pipe. Let's get the copper plate and plastic pipe done. Okay, good enough hardwood planks. Alright, copper plate. Uh, actually, let's just cancel that. Just do just enough. Four, got three, make one. Okay. And over here. Hardwood planks. 20 and I've got 31. Alright, so copper plate's going. Iron plate. I need 15. Okay, I can make six more. We need to go and uh, get back into the ruins and deal with that. Uh, head on over here. We'll grab this bronze stuff. Go harvesting in just a minute. Steel bars. Alright, we definitely need to go into the ruins to get some more of that. Let us make up these three. That will give us what we need for that. Just get some more rubber scrap going. Or I can leave it, it's running on some good steel bars. Plastic shell, does that come out of plastic? It does. So, right. Alrighty. We can definitely 
get the lizard thing done. So we'll go and do that in a minute. As soon as I've got the sand leak thing done. Okay. Let us go find lizards. They should be migrating across the desert at night now. It's 2038, so we don't want to go too far. Here we go. I forgot to see how many I needed to um, to deal with too. Let me just check. Four thorny jumpers. Alrighty. I think I've seen the greatest concentration of them over this way. I thought there was something coming to attack me. All right, that is that commission done. So that's for tomorrow. It's 21.48. Gonna be a bit panda-eyed maybe. Possibly. Let's go see if the breach will let us in this time of night. Alright, let's go. Wow, that's why. Yep, 203. Oh, I missed that one. To get back up and get it.
Wrong way, go back. Oh, okay. I've jumped into the wrong area. Ha! Huh. No, I haven't. Yeah. 
It's bedtime. Alright, let's see if we can get home before um before we crash out. Right, so I think I've yeah I've done now done two of the missions. There's one more to go, but it is bedtime. And on that note, guys, I am going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Check you later. Take care out there.